Hello everyone, more Yakuza 4 today. Thank you for returning. I always have so much fun playing these games, hanging out with people on my stream, and getting to talk to you guys here in YouTube as well. It makes this special series even more special, and I hope you guys know how much I appreciate you. So in the last episode, we did do a quite lengthy sub-story with Nair, and she trained us as Tanimura. We learned some more, some new like moves with grappling and stuff. The parry, it was very challenging, but a lot of fun once I started to get the hang of it. And we finished that up. Today, I wanted to share with you guys another lengthy sub story that Tanimura has. It has to do with a notebook that his father left behind, a case that he was working on that he never solved. And I know, like, you guys are probably wanting to move along with the main story, but I just want to get this out of the way before things get too heated in here and we move on to the next section of the game and things like that. So this is a really good quest. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Thank you guys again for being here and enjoy the video. Oh, what happened? Machan, help! It's dad. You got to help my dad. What's wrong? They took him away. Who did? What happened? These scary guys burst into Homeland and harassed us about a woman named Nadine. Do you know who they were? No, but I think I know where they headed. Somewhere off on, of Senyo Avenue. Please, Machan, you gotta see my dad. Don't worry. I'll get him back in one piece. You just head back to the restaurant where it's safe, okay? Dada. No, I'm going too. I had a feeling you'd say that. Fine, but we've gotta hurry. Think you can keep up? Of course I can. By the way, Machan, I bought these for you in case you were tired. Hope you like them. Oh, I need that. Thank you. Oh, I need that. Thank you. You're the best. Now let's get going. I'm right behind you. Okay, so... Uh, to answer the question of if we're going to finish Tanimura tonight, yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Here we go. Found it. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't know any Nadine. We're in no hurry, old man. How about we take a trip to our office and jog your memory there? I have nothing to say to you. Now keep your filthy hands away from me. Come on, guys. Do I really need to remind you of the legal ramifications for abduction? Or are you actually that dumb? Who the hell are you? Does it matter? All you need to know is I'm taking Jiao-san back. This might get dangerous, Meihua. Hang tight for a minute. All right, assholes. Let's see what you got. Well, at least she didn't... We didn't take too much damage from that last fight, so... That's good. Ooh, let me do some of this. Heat act. No, let me not do heat actions. Just kidding. Damn. We got all the cool moves here. Hey, 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 hey. Leave me alone. How are we doing this move? I don't even remember when we learned it. Not that I'm complaining. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. Damn, we are just kicking butt right here. Yeah. Scram. Hey, you hurt any? They hurt you any? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Didn't mean to get you involved. They were looking for a woman named Nadine, right? Nadine came here from the Philippines to seek better financial opportunities, but the authorities found out she was working illegally and now they're trying to chase her down. Then she sought help from the Asian Gateway, I'm assuming. Correct. She was actually at the restaurant at the time those thugs showed up. Luckily, she was in the back room and got the hell out of there as soon as she heard the commotion. Alright, then who were those people just now? Not the authorities, that's for sure. 
My guess is they're responsible for bringing illegal immigrants into the country. In other words, human traffickers. They must be afraid that if Nadine gets arrested, she'll lead the police right back to them. Makes sense. But I doubt she'll be coming this way anymore. Gonna be a real pain in the ass to find her. Yeah. There is one method we you can try. Yeah? I'm all ears. So, there's this fortune teller over on Tenkaichi Street. Maybe she could help you track Nadine down. A fortune teller. Is that seriously the best you can come up with? Or were you just kidding? Oh, it's no joke. In fact, this lady is known for being freakishly accurate with her predictions. Kind of spooky, if you ask me. It sure sounds spooky, but whatever. If you're the one who's recommending it, then I guess I have nothing to lose. Where's this place exactly? Uh. Middle of Tenkaichi Street, right next to a host club called Stardust. Okay, here's hoping fortune's on our side, huh? Naomi's Palace. We've been in here before. We found Bob. Wait, where's Bob? Bob's gone. Welcome, welcome. What can Naomi's amazing psychic powers do for you today? I'm looking for a Filipina woman who's gone missing. Her name's Nadine. Nadine, you say. Was she your sweetheart? You must let go of what is gone. Accepting the inevitable is simply a part of life, young man. Are you going to help me or not? My friend Jao San over in Little Asia said you have the power to see the unseen. <laughs> yes, but my services do not come cheap, Detective Tanimura. You know who I am? What sort of psychic would I be if I didn't at least know that? Naomi sees all, knows all. Right. Okay, then. Do you know where Nadine is? What are you doing? Silence! The great and powerful Naomi must concentrate. Yes, yes. I see a name. Saki-chan. You should go ask Saki-chan. Saki-chan? She will give you the information you seek. You're not giving me the runaround, are you? Hm. If you do not trust my powers, you can take your business elsewhere. Fine. Then just tell me where I can find this Saki-chan. Near Pink Street, she'll be wearing a purple scarf. Thanks. If this goes well, you'll have yourself a new customer. Hm. Come again. Okay, purple scarf on Pink Street. Disturbance on Nakamichi. Okay. Okay, Saki, right here. So that's Saki-chan, huh? Well, I guess no one explicitly said what kind of woman she'd be. And a purple scarf? Couldn't I have gotten some other clue? An accessory that anyone could wear isn't exactly a distinguishing feature. Hey there, would you happen to be Saki-chan? Um... I'm trying to... Like, I'm trying to figure out if I want to do a super masculine voice or a super feminine voice. Don't know. I'm trying to figure out what to do with this. Because, like, I always do, like, for... I always do, like, the same, you know, like, Oh, hey there, yourself. You know, I want to do something different. Husky? Oh, husky. Okay. Oh, hey there, yourself. <laughs> Don't tell me. You were about to use a pickup line, weren't you? Isn't he adorable, folks? Actually, I'm looking for somebody. A woman named a woman named Nadine. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, get back here. We're, now we're chasing this Saki Saki-chan. All right, well, I'm going to get you with the bottle. And it's going to be game over for you. Just got to make sure I don't miss. Get her a few times and then... Oh, shit. I'm throwing 
There's too many pedestrians around. It makes it difficult. Oh my god. How did you miss that? I gotta say, the chases in this game, as aside from the training with Saigo, have been pretty easy. Like, you guys can't probably can't see this. Oh, you can kind of see the stamina a little bit. These characters don't have a lot of stamina. Like, you don't even really have to do the running well to win. I, I think it would be... A f it would be very difficult to mess these up. They were way harder in three. Yes. <sighs> Look, I think you have the wrong idea. I'm not after Nadine. In fact, I'm trying to help her. Are you really? Cross my heart. So, what's up with the whole chase sequence as soon as you saw my badge? Are you hiding something? Well, the thing is, I help people. Help them how? I use my connections to help foreign women with the cops or criminals come for them. So I take it you know Nadine then. What would you do if you found her? Let me put it this way. She'll be dead if I don't find her first. And I'd like to get her home safe before that happens. All right. I know where she is. I'm actually the one looking after her. Great. Can you take me to see her then? Well, you do seem like a decent guy. Alrighty, Pooh. You just follow me. My voice. <laughs> Need water. So, you're Nadine? Yes. He says he's here to help you, dear. Really? Yep. Had a heck of a time trying to find you, too. Nice work. She's not out of trouble just yet. Those creeps have her passport, and she can't get home without it. You mean, the human traffickers? I take it you've run into them already. Well, it's not only trafficking they do. They're in charge of managing the women they bring in, too. Managing? In what sense? They take the women's passports so they can escape, and then give them just enough money to eke out a meager living. They're essentially modern-day slave drivers. Ugh, that's terrible. I hate bastards like that the most. Any idea where they are? In a dilapidated food warehouse on the docks. I want to go home to the Philippines. Don't worry. I'll get your passport back. You will? Yep. Just leave it to me. Okay. To the docks. We can get there. We just need a taxi. A food warehouse on the docks, huh? Then those must be the guys who took Nadine's passport. Excuse me, I'm here for the passports you've been stealing from foreign women. Wait a minute. Aren't you... Yeah, you bet I am. If you don't want to get hurt again, hand over the passports and make it quick. You're one cocky son of a bitch, you know that? All right, you're up. Come on out. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. Oh, what? What the hell do you feed this guy? Milk? Beef? Growth hormones? <laughs> well, he is like eight feet tall. I think I need Saijuma here to balance out the odds. <laughs> he just came straight at me. Can you request mochi time? Whenever you want to. I'll grab him after this fight if you want. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm afraid to get near this. I wonder if I could... I need to take this guy out first. Then we're gonna one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, shit. He's like a sumo wrestler. All right, can I counter this guy? Okay. Well, if you're not gonna attack me, then I guess I'll go on ahead. Okay, are you just gonna let me kill you? I wanna know if I can carry you. Oh my god. Come on. How can he become so short? <laughs> How many times must I say it? Give me the passports. Fine! Just take the damn things! Just to let you know, I got a call from Nadine this morning. She got home safe and sound. Good to hear. I hope this means fewer migrant workers like her will suffer through the same shitty experience. I don't mean to be a sourpuss, but even though you busted up those jerks at the warehouse, this kind of thing will still go on. Why do you say that? Because men like that are everywhere. They're only after one thing, the almighty Yen, and they'll stop at nothing to get it, even if it means ruining countless lives. But there has to be someone at the top pulling the strings. You're saying there's a mastermind of the sex industry? A ringleader making millions off the lives of female migrant workers? Often awful as it is, that doesn't sound too far-fetched. Right. Every power structure has its person in charge. You have any leads on where this ringleader might be? Not really, but I have heard those traffickers drop the name Bridge before. That could be a clue. Wait, did you just say Bridge? Oh, you know him? My dad left notes about someone named Bridge all throughout his notebook. Oh, sorry. I should probably clarify what I mean by that. No need, I know all about you, Detective Ka uh, Tanimura of the KPD. How did you... I heard about you from Naomi-san, San, the fortune teller. Tell me, what specifically did your father's notebook say about Bridge? Apparently, Kay and my dad were investigating him. And who is Kay? Another detective who worked with my dad. But damn, I never would have guessed that Bridge was some sort of sex trafficking kingpin. This could get ugly. Do you intend to find this Bridge and expose him? Oh yeah, especially if this guy is the same guy my dad was after. Still don't have any idea who Kay is though. Have you done your research? I looked up all the detectives who ever worked a case with my dad, but none of their names started with Kay. And there's no file on Bridge either. I think Kay and my dad were investigating Bridge off the record. You know, the more you look into this, the more you're going to uncover about your past. What are you trying to say? Taigi Tanimura was my senior detective. You were a detective? Judging from what you just said, I'm sure you know Taigi wasn't my actual dad, right? Mm-hmm. Then you know who my real dad is? I can't comment on that. All I can say is if you don't want to get hurt by what you find, I suggest you leave this case alone. Wait, 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 what? So the... The guy who... Who got killed... 25 years ago isn't his real father? Is that what we're just learning? Oh. And we're learning all this in this little side quest. <clears> hmm. <throat> I won't get hurt. That's impossible. Oh? See, no matter who my real dad is, I'm still gonna be the same guy. Let the past be the past, you know? By the way, why do they call this guy Bridge? Couldn't tell you, hun. I see. Well, I guess this is just one more case my dad left me to solve. 
No matter what, I'm going to find this bridge and bring his ass to justice. Man. It doesn't sound like... It doesn't seem like um, a lot of these sub-stories are ones that I'm going to want to skip. In order to, you know, hurry along with the main story. That's okay, though. A murder? Oh my god. Tanimura here. You listening to your radio? Get your ass over here now! I don't get it. Why are you calling me about this? I didn't ask, say for you to ask questions. Just go get over here now. Yeah, yeah. Be right there. What the hell? Oh, well. Guess I'll head over to Mock Bowl. Dude, I was like, I'm just going to skip the police scanner. And now they're like, oh, it's a murder. Are you the guy I talked to about this homicide? No. Hey, okay. clearly not. I go inside Mock Bowl. Hold on. If I remember correctly, the... Oh, here we go. Hey, I'm here. Yeah, so the stiff's a writer for the sex industry. Since you seem to be such an expert on the subject, I thought you might have some dirt on him. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Did you call me out here just to give me shit? Oh, and what was his name again? Make an effort to remember what you hear on the dispatch, Tanimura. His name's Koichi Yabe, 35 years old. Huh. Don't know who that is. You sure about that? I'm telling you, I've never heard of him. All right, then. Thanks. You can go now. What? That's it? No, that's not it. That's never it. The murder victim was a sex industry writer. Something stinks about this. Tanimura here. Hey, it's me. Hey, Saki-chan. I heard Yabe was killed. Not bad for a former detective. You got your info quick. So, what do you know about this Yabe? I wanted to talk to you about that. Let's meet at Shellac. Okay, Shellac it is. Thank you. Oh, hi, hun. Turns out Yabe-san was on the cusp of something dangerous. What was he invest- What was it he investigated? Not what, but who? A woman from Hong Kong. Huh. I take it she's not just some random lady. Right. Rumor has it she has ties to a certain crime syndicate, and she's in charge of illegal immigrant workers, all of them female. So she's a crime boss then. And the syndicate's supposed to be... A powerful underground intelligence network spread throughout Asia. Apparently they recruit girls from poor families and make them buy fake passports and visas. And they force them to work like slaves to work off the loans used to buy them. And when they're used up, they're history. Don't tell me. Bridge is the one running the show? That's my guess. Any idea where this crime boss lady might be? I'm not entirely sure, but I hear the syndicate has an office near the arcade in Nakamichi Alley. I'm sure this goes without saying, but be careful, okay? Thanks. I'll try. Okay. The arcade at Nakamichi. Alright, so this is the place that Saki told us to go to. I accidentally skipped the dialogue of the first part, but let's go in. I should prepare, and we're going in. I have some healing items. Okay, I'm going in. 
We're going in. Oh, and who might you be? Doesn't matter. I'm looking for the boss, some lady from Hong Kong. Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play stupid with me. Just bring her here and there won't be any trouble. Ah, forgive me. Where are my manners? Hey, fellas. Come help me escort our guest. Our friend here is requesting a one-way trip to the afterlife. Shall we oblige? I get that your boss is a tough nut to crack, but you really don't have to make things so difficult. Give him hell, boys. You don't say. Okay, so let's get some heat. Okay, so we got to grab and then wait, is this it? No, it's something else. Oh, that's that one. That's the other heat action that we or the other one that we learned from the revelation. I want to do the ball and chain one. So I need to get him in an arm hold. So how do I do that? First, I need heat again. Okay, so I think I need to grab him and then push B. And then... Yes! <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tiny Mortis got some such fun moves. Like, they're so good. Somebody said that peop there's a lot of people don't like his fighting style? Is that what... Who, who said that? Is that true? This is so much fun. Look at, look at this. Come on. You got the parry. You got the grabs. All kinds of fun stuff. So a sex industry writer named Koichi Yabe was investigating a, ma a madam from Hong Kong and it got him killed. What? Yabe's dead? So you knew him. Uh. I did. Tell me where this boss of yours is. She went back to Hong Kong this morning. I see. So she had to skip town a to keep a lid on Yabe's murder. Let's just say she learned too much about the organization for her own good. Are you talking about the organization that Bridge runs? Bridge? What? You never heard the name? We're not important enough to know what's going on up top. All I know is that the boss leaked something to Yabe. And now that Yabe's dead, I guess we'll never know what that was. Yeah. Don't be so sure about that. Yabe apparently hid whatever he compiled somewhere. Really? Where? Dunno, the organization's in a frenzy trying to find it. Interesting. Are you gonna go look for it too? You bet. I imagine it's some pretty valuable info. You ought to stay out of it, or you'll end up just like Yabe. Don't you worry about me. After giving me all these details, you should be watching your own back. Oh, that's true. That's true. So Yabe had some info, huh? But without any leads, I might as well be running in circles. There is that greedy old fortune teller. Guess I gotta rely on him again. Wait, did it say him or her? Because I read him, but the fortune teller's a lady, right? There's Bob. I knew you would return. I'm trying to find the evidence Yabe, that sex industry writer, left behind. Hmm, that's no ordinary information you speak. It is going to cost you. How much? 50,000 yen and not a yen less. Cut me some slack. I don't have that much. Mm. The great Nao Naomi has no use for penniless fools. Now off you go. Guess I'll have to pay the 50 thou. Wait, I don't have that? Oh, I only have 23! How do we make a quick buck? I was about to say butt. How do we make a quick butt? Maybe Bob has some stuff for us. I already picked everything up on Akiyama. A quick butt? How do we make that? Okay, we finally got the money. Okay, 50,000 yen. Greedy, aren't we? Pay. Hey. Man, I hope she gets this right. Huh. Naomi will not disappoint. Yes. Yes. 
I see a place. A bar frequented by the one they call Yabe. Are you telling me you actually see that in your ball of glass there? Silence. Do you doubt the great and powerful Naomi? Actually, yes. A little bit. No, it's not that. It's just kind of weird. Anyway, what's the bar's name? Quez Bar. The pool bar in the underground mall? Correct. Thanks. I'll be back if this lead's a good one. Wait, are we going to have to pay her again? Because I've, I've spent all my money. On degeneracy. We actually want to go this way. Oh, shit. She's probably going to want, like, at least 75,000 next time. It's not good if that's the case. Okay. We've actually haven't been in here, have we? I don't think we have. We could play pool here. Ooh. That's tempting. Welcome. Uh, hey, uh, you wouldn't happen to know a writer named Yabe, would you? Writes about the sex industry? Oh, him. He was here two days ago. I see. Well, he's dead now. No! It's because he got involved with that woman. You're not talking about the woman from Hong Kong, are you? You know her? I know she is part of a crime ring. Yes, apparently she gave Yabe-san some rather vital information, to put it lightly. That's what I don't get. She must have known that would put her life in danger. A lady in the throes of love tends to throw caution to the wind. Wait, she and Yabe were in love? It's more like Yabe was a lady's man. Ah, I get it. He must have seduced the information out of her. And then he paid the price. Well, he's supposed to have hidden his information somewhere. Any idea where that might be? What do you intend to do with it? I'll use it to crush the syndicate once and for all. Can I trust you? You can. I'll do whatever it takes to prove it. Okay then. He said it was in a locker in the underground mall. Thank you. Okay. Yabe-san gave, gave his life for that information. Don't let it go to waste. You weren't in love with him too, were you? He was just a customer to me. That's all. Right. Well, see ya. Okay. Oh. Damn. These bastards were one step ahead of me. I'll be taking that bag off your hands. Ah, so you know what this is? Glad you showed up then. Now we can get rid of you. No, I have some moves, to, new moves to try out on you guys. Okay, so I need you on the floor. Unconscious or writhing. But I need to somehow pull that off without killing you. Or using my Y ability. I'm not really sure how this is going to work out here. Because if I use Y, he's just going to use that other move. Maybe if we counter? Okay, he's on the ground. No, that's not it. That's not the handcuffs. I don't know how to do this thing, man. That's just kicking him. Wait, 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 wait. That's it, that's it, that's it. We did it, we cuffed him. <laughs> Finally. So this is what Yabe gave his life for. A pile of papers. Hmm? There's something else in here. A ring and a letter. It says, to Mitsuko. That's the bartender. I should take these to her. Oh, a ring.
He was planning on celebrating your birthday with you. I begged him not to get involved with that horrible woman. I guess he was going to use the info to write an expose on the syndicate. What exactly did he find out? Details of the syndicate's activities. Recruiting Asian women, counterfeiting passports, arranging fake marriages with Japanese men, operating brothels. Is that enough to take down the syndicate for good? I'm not 100% sure this would qualify as conclusive evidence, but it could play a big role in exposing their operations, which could eventually lead to bringing them down. Good. Tanimura-san, would you take this for me? I got an Eye of the Dragon. Gabi always wore it as sort of a lucky charm. It hurts too much to keep it now. Okay, then I'll hold on to it for you. And I promise to use this information to get Bridge. Yabe-san won't have died in vain. Thank you. Oh, their health needs to be below 50%. Gotcha. Okay, so now... Now what? Let's go back upstairs. What do we do now that we have this information? Or is that it? Did we finish it? Bridge. Just like the case my father was on, looked like it's up to me to expose. So I think we finished part one of that. Let's see what this is. Uh, hi there. Do we know each other? These guys look like professionals. I'm guessing they work for Bridge. Okay, we found it. We found it. That just means I'm getting closer to uncovering his true identity. I'm almost to the bottom of this, Dad. So I can't go dying just yet. That's right. Okay, so... Ooh, they have weapons. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Oh, okay. I, I can tell this is going to be a little bit in, uh, annoying. Yeah. Just a little bit, though. We can parry them. If we're quick enough. how every time they hit me i just fall right <laughs> i just fall over oh i didn't fall that time all right one left yeah wait do you have a gun what has he been doing this whole time he has literally a ranged weapon and he didn't even use it once huh Guess even professionals run away with their tails between their legs. I should get in touch with Saki-chan about our next move. Oh boy, I'm gonna need lots of water for this. Machan, I was hoping I'd hear from you, sweetie. Are you finally calling to ask me out? I appreciate your good humor, but there's no time to joke around. We need to talk about Bridge. Oh, you're no fun. Well, okay, how about we meet up at Shellac again? Then Shellac it is. I'll see you there. Okay. We can do that. Are we close? Uh, I mean, we're close enough. You're late! You know you're not supposed to keep a lady waiting. <laughs> Sorry. I ran right here. So that's what Yabe-san left behind. Hmm, you're right. I'm afraid that alone won't be enough to catch our man. And here we were so close. 
Isn't there anything we can do? I could always infiltrate the syndicate and scope things out. What do you say to that? That sounds dangerous. <coughs> Excuse, <coughs> Excuse me. I say it's too dangerous. Oh, please. All I'd be doing is working my magic in an affiliated venue. Besides, now that I've seen the documents, wouldn't you say I've passed the point of no return? I get that, but what would you even do? I'll masquerade as a hostess. Sweet talk my way right up to the big bad bridge himself. Hmm. I don't know about that. Have a little faith. With enough makeup and the right dress, I could be your perfect femme fatale. And you know it. <laughs> well, you certainly have the charisma. All right, then. Just don't do anything too crazy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Look into the relationship between my dad and this mystery man, Kay. I've got nothing to lose, so I was thinking I'd get my fortune read by that greedy old lady. Naomi-san? Yeah, she really seems to know her stuff. I wonder what's in that crystal ball anyway. You know Naomi-san is actually an informant, right? Aha, uh -huh, I thought she seemed suspicious. <laughs> That's one hell of a cover she's got. Don't tell anyone, okay? There's a lot of risk involved to being an informant in Kamurocho. Why do you know, want to know about Kay so bad, anyway? Kay's another name that pops up all over my dad's notebook. I just want to know what kind of person he was. Besides, there might be some connection to Bridge. I see. Well, if I find out anything, I'll contact you. Thanks, I'd appreciate it. I'm guessing this K person is not Sugiuchi. I know that um, Sugiuchi and him worked together on the uh, other case, but K is probably somebody different. I'm gonna guess. So... Saki's gonna go infiltrate. And we want to go talk to the fortune teller. I knew you would return. Hello, Ms. Information Dealer. I assume you heard that from Saki. Blessed with the gift of gab, she is. Or should I say cursed? It was a detective by the name of Yusuke Kanga who was inquiring into your father and bridge. Kanga. Kanga, so that's what he meant by K. Most likely. Yusuke Kanga. Well, that's one mystery solved. Only thing is, the name K suddenly stops appearing in my father's memo book one day. Kanga was fired for mistakes made on the job. Fired? After that, he opened a coffee shop. Foreign prostitutes were among his regular customers. Really? He had looked after them while he was still a detective. Even after he was fired, they would still come to him seeking advice. Does he still work at this shop? He died 26 years ago. Oh, the cause of death? It was reported as accidental, but all the facts pointed towards murder. So basically, he was eliminated because he got too close to those foreign prostitutes. That matter is too cloudy for Naomi to see. I don't believe a detective my father respected so much would make careless mistakes. He shot and killed an innocent bystander by accident during one of the, his cases. I seriously doubt that's true. But why? Because crack detectives like him know how to use a gun. I doubt he'd miss his mark like that. <laughs> you seem to be a fine detective yourself. Your father said that Kanga had been set up. By Bridge? That I cannot see, but during an investigation on illegal Im immigration, the trail led Kaga to a certain government official. A government official? A few of the undocumented workers arrested by Kaga had been issued suspicious-looking visas. Many of them had been bought under the table. Someone was selling visas? Are you sure it wasn't pizzas? Do they need to be delivered? 
I know a guy. He loves delivering pizzas. Foreigners need a work visa or student visa in order to work in Japan. But the screening for such visas is very strict. Many for foreigners end up buying them from corrupt officials for 40 or 50,000 yen. 400 or 500,000 yen. Naomi has even heard of some who pay a million. Why would anyone pay so much to come to Japan? Back then, we had a labor shortage. Employers never seemed to have enough workers. But most of all, migrant workers saw Japan as the promised land where jobs grew on trees. So Kanga suspected that government official of receiving money for issuing illegal visas? Exactly. So who was this official? Naomi does not know for certain. However, it may very well be Bridge. Yeah. Ooh. Sorry. I gotta take this. Moshi moshi. Tanimura. It's me! I've got some info on that group! You do? Let's meet somewhere away from prying eyes. How about the rooftop garden on top of a volcano? I'll be there. I don't want to go to the rooftops. I take it that was Saki-chan. Yeah. She was quite close to Kanga before he died. No kidding. You should talk to Saki-chan if you wish to learn more about Kanga. Thank you. Okay. The roof of the volcano. Here we are. Oh, this is a nice spot. The meeting place Saki-chan told me about should be around here somewhere. Hi, handsome. Hey, don't surprise me like that. Sorry, honey. Things are starting to heat up, so I'm taking extra precautions. Is everything okay? I told you, i passed the point of no return now, but it was worth the risk. What'd you find out? Sugawa, he's the man behind the fake marriages, counterfeit passports, shady recruitment strategy, and just about everything horrible under the sun. So, is he Bridge? I don't think so, but he's definitely affiliated. Sagawa runs a trading company called Urban Foods. They import food mainly from Asian countries. So that's how he gets all his local information. His on-site employees seem to be handling the recruiting operations as well. You learned all that so quick. You must have been one hell of a detective back in the day. By the way, I wanted to ask you. What is it? We heard all that, by the way. What? I thought you were just another shady lady, but it turns out you're working with a cop. Nice knowing you, Officer Okama. Ah, so you found me out. Guess I lost my touch. I'll have to work on that. Saki-chan, you need to run. But... Don't take this wrong, but you'd just be getting in my way here. If you say so. Leave it to Tanimura. He's got this. You caught me at a busy time, so let's sell this quick, okay? I'm sure you understand. Why is he jumping up in the air like that? Why am I, like, shiny? Why am I sparkling? What does that mean? Ow! Ow! Oh, God. Hit, hit your own guy like that. Oh, okay, okay. That's right. I should have known. Come on. I dare you to try and hit me. I dare you. Oh, oh god, he got me. On second thought? Maybe not. Oh 
Come on. Oh no. Lights out, buddy. Okay, eventually. There we go. Saki-chan, are you all right? Ugh. I haven't ran that much in ages. Oh, you'll live. Now where's Sugawa's company, this Urban Foods? I'm going after him. Don't you think you're rushing things just a bit? We've already been targeted by hitmen. If we don't act fast, we'll only be leaving ourselves open to more danger. It's time to go on the offensive. There's that youthful optimism shining through. All right. Urban Foods is in the building with the information booth on Supon Street. Don't take them lightly. Supon Street. Got it. Where is Supon Street? Is that? Um, shit, shit, hotel district. I mean, that's weird. I don't know if it. It's definitely somewhere I don't go very often. And oh, here, here it is. This tiny, tiny little spot right here. Over where Kitty's real estate office used to be, I believe. Oh, is that where it was? It's been so long since I played. Gosh. It's been so long since we did that. Yeah, it was like right over here to the right. So this is Urban Foods. Sugawa had better be in here. Tsunimura? So you're at Sugawa? <clears throat> so you came all this way just to run into a literal dead end. <laughs> Look, pal. You're in deep shit, and I mean the deep end of deep shit. You're in sh over your head in shit. In fact, you're about to be buried in it, just like that corpse of a rider. Damn, that's a lot of shit. That's a lot of deep shit. We'll see who's in, who's in a pile of shit after this. After I get through with you. Whoa, that is a lot of, a lot of guys. Okay. Okay, that was maybe not the best idea. Whoops. Uh, I was scared. Oh god. There's too many of them. Do I have any of those, um... Moves where you run to a group of people and attack on this guy? No, I don't. I thought he had one. Who was it that had that? Huh. No! No! Carl, let go of me, Carl! Carl! Okay, Carl, you need to take a nap, Carl. Shit. Is 
Stop it. Woo! You know the guy they call Bridge, right? You're shit out of luck. I don't know a damn thing. Okay, let's make a deal. Huh? Give up Bridge's identity and promise to never get involved with crime again, and I'll forget everything you've done. Or you can rot in a jail cell. Your choice. Will you promise you'll never tell anybody I talked? Sure. The real name of the man they call Bridge is Yuji Katsuda. Yuji Katsuda. He's the chairman of the Asian Women's Friendship Association. Asian Women's Friendship Association. Friendship, huh? So they use that as a front to hide the terrible things they really do. If you value your life, you should run. We can't arrest Katsura based on Sugawa's statement alone. Right. We can't afford to make any stupid moves until we get some hard evidence. He's completely hidden his trail so far, so he must be really sweating balls by now. A man like that can never let his guard down. I meant to ask you this before, but I heard you were close with Detective Kaga before he passed away. What? Who told you that? Naomi. Oh, she did, did she? Could you tell me more about him? I helped Kagasan after I quit my detective job. At the kif at the cafe he ran? Yeah. I used to counsel sex workers that came whenever they had problems, but then the syndicate found me out. How? Kagasan, he was involved with them too. Was he on their payroll? Possibly. If he was, then why would they kill him? Because he fell in love with a certain woman. One of the illegals? Yes, a woman from Thailand. They killed him when he tried to help her escape. But you never sold yourself out, and you're still helping immigrant women. There will always be women who find themselves in trouble. Somebody has to be there for them. Dang, you're a true hero. Don't you mean heroin? <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Ow. I'm dying. I'm dying here. Ooh, I gotta level up, though. That's pretty cool. There's a key nearby? Uh... I don't know if I care too much about that. I just want to know how to complete this how to get to this question mark here you guys oh yeah you guys can see it it's on that side of the screen hmm yeah i don't know weird you think i just need to leave champion district for a bit okay let's try that out then i guess we can make our way towards ebisu but I'm guessing we won't get very far. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who's this? It is I, the great Naomi. Naomi-san? How did you get my num- <laughs> Remember who you're speaking to. Anyway, I found out what Katsura is doing behind the scenes. Saki-chan told you about him, didn't she? You don't have to get involved with this, you know. Did I ask you to look after me, boy? If you want to know more, come and see me. Okay, I owe you one. Okay. Well, we can hit up Ebisu on the way. Ah, Saki's here. I knew you would return. Oh, Saki-chan's here too, huh? Well, you might as well just tell me about Katsuda. The Asian Women's Friendship Association was merely a friend for Katsuda. What do you mean? He was using it to connect with various Asian political figures and then profit handsomely from Japanese overseas development assistance. But aren't associations like that non-profit? 
He contracts out all work to companies run by relatives. There are 14 of, the, 14 of these companies in all, both big and small. Hmm. Doesn't anybody notice that it's at least a little bit suspicious? A little hush money to police and politicians works wonders. But that would take an awful lot of cash. That is where the foreign prostitutes come in. Katsura is extorting money from them like there is no tomorrow. You have proof of this? Finding proof is your job, detective. But if Katsura were the sex industry kingpin known as Bridge, it would all start to make sense. So he's hiding behind a banner of compassion while secretly exploiting immigrant women. The problem is, how do we get close to Katsura? I have an idea. Do tell. I'll simply call the association and tell them I'm coming to see Katsura. Then... You'll wait for a hitman to show up and try and stop you? Aren't you putting yourself at an unnecessary risk? What choice do I have? I need some way to pick up his trail. Will you lure the hitman out around here? Too crowded. Their kind only strike when there are few people around. I'll head over to Pink Alley after I call. That's where the attack will take place? Yep. Can I count on you for backup? Leave it to me! Gosh, this is... I don't know. Seems kind of scary. Just inviting a hitman to... Okay, so what do I need to do? Hang out around Pink Alley. Okay, so I guess we we are assuming we made the call already. Or are we gonna call when we get there? I guess we're probably gonna call when we get there. To Pink Alley. To Pink Alley. Come on, guys. I know someone wants to kill me. This would be the perfect place. <laughs> okay, Tanimura, please. Here you are. Right on schedule, boys. Now we just have to lure you into a dead end and we can go from there. Oi. You have any idea what we're about to do to you? That's my line. Eh? What the hell? Oi, what it? Say your prayers, bitches! <laughs> There's no escape now. Leave this to me, Saki-chan. As for you, idiots, hurry up and bring it. I don't have all day here. <laughs> Sub bitches! <laughs> I love it. Call your boss and tell him you've gotten rid of me. Hurry up and do it. You're going way too soft on him, sweetie. Huh? Back when I was cracking heads and solving cases with the Hiroshima PD, they had a little nickname for me. Ever heard of Saki the Demon Asshole? No, of course you haven't. Then listen up good, you little shit. <gasps> What's happening? Huh? Are you... <clears throat> <laughs> Are you fucking brain dead? Make the goddamn
call, where I will pry your open your skull like a sea otter cracking an oyster and canvas the street with your head goo. There's no need to go that far. I'll do as you say. It's me. Tiny Mud is a done deal. That's right. Good boy. <laughs> well, how was I? Absolutely horrifying. Scary as hell. You make one badass detective. Tony Muda here. I have some information for you. What? Next Monday, Katsura will be holding a symposium at none other than the Millennium Tower. And would you believe it? The name of this symposium is Empowering Asian Women. Katsura is apparently finishing his preparations there as we speak. It's rare for him to be out in public like this. Perfect. Then this is my chance to take him out. I would exercise extreme caution if I were you. Appreciate the tip. Now I've got his ass. I'll watch these three while you do what you have to do. Guess this is what I've been waiting for. Best of luck, hon. Thanks. Hopefully I won't need it. Okay, it's going down for real this time. For real, for real. Chairman, we're expecting about 5,000 visitors on the day of the symposium. How about our VIPs? Three government ministers, including the Minister of Health, Labor and Welfare, and four other representatives from various industries. <laughs> Excellent! This will be a major PR boost for my foundation. Nothing like a couple of men with money to run the Asian Women's F Friendship Association, wouldn't you say, boys? Hey, Katsura! Masayoshi Tanimura, Community Safety Division, Kamurocho PD. Any of that ring a bell? Nani? Nani! We might just break 20 nannies this game. We might just break 20 nannies. Let me see your nanny emotes, guys. What the devil? What's wrong? Did I scare you? You look like you've seen a ghost. What is this nonsense? I don't have time to play games here. Then playing dumb won't help either. I was almost killed several times thanks to you. <laughs> You're delusional. Sad to see the force hired a detective who suffers from bouts of paranoia. <laughs> Think I'm lying? How's this for proof? I took this phone here from one of the men you sent after me. Watch what happens when I try to contact the guy he called to report the hit. I finally tracked you down, Katsura. Or should I say, bridge? Why, you! Hurry up and silence this fool! Ha! <laughs> 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 Grabs just not working. There we go. Get him, Tiny Muda. Get him. Ooh, oh, I've never seen this before. Ooh, <laughs> that was awesome. How dare you! 
26 years ago, you murdered a detective named Kaga, didn't you? And what about it? He was one of your own, wasn't he? Why'd you have to kill him over something so trivial as running away from the wo with the woman he loves? Don't come any closer! Wait! We're just gonna let him get away like that? Okay, no, we're not. Good thing people leave their bottles lying around everywhere. Yeah, I got him. I didn't even slow him down. Okay, there we go. There we go. Give it up, Katsuda. You're done. Damn it! This moron has nowhere left to run, yet he's still limping around like a hurt animal. Dude's in full denial. Arrest him already! I gotta go! Get back! I'm warning you! Look, even if you do shoot me, my friends are clued into everything. They'll hunt you down and bring you to justice. Tanimura! Kaga! That bastard made it seem like he was under my thumb, then had to go investigate me behind my back. What? In my world, there's no worse threat than someone who can't be bought. And you killed him just for that? He got killed because he was stupid. Instead of saving his own hide, he let himself get caught by me. All to protect that woman and her child. Kanga had a child? Yeah, with that Thai woman he fell in love with. After she discovered what our organization was really all about, I tried to have her silenced. But she fled back to Thailand after having her baby here, so I planned to use her baby as bait to lure her back to Japan. Then I found out Kaga hid the baby somewhere. He hid the baby? He probably placed the baby in someone else's care. I never heard about the brat after that. So his child grew up without knowing him or where they came from. If Kaga hadn't tried to protect his woman and his kid, he would have been... He would have had me by the throat eventually. He was one of the few men I truly feared. I'll give him that. Matter of fact, you're the spitting image of him. Or is that just a coincidence? Hmm? 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 What do you mean? <laughs> so, now it's all over, hmm? It is. My dad mentioned something cryptic at the very end of his notebook. It was about taking care of the treasure that Kay left behind. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You're telling me this whole time? Hello? You're telling me? That Tanimura is not Tanimura's son? He's actually, um... Kaga's? <laughs> what? So he did. So his... His real dad... It, both his dads. We already knew he wasn't his real dad. Oh, did we? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. But still, both his dads got killed. Investigating. Trying to come to the truth. So he did. 
Saki-chan, you told me that if I kept looking into this case, I'd find out things about my past. I guess you already know by now. Yeah, my real dad was Kaga. Yes. Now it's true that Kaga-san let himself get corrupted by money, but he hoped he would never lose... You would never lose your sense of justice like he did. That's why he named you Masayoshi, because your name means justice. It all makes sense now. I hope you're not too shocked by the truth. Like I told you before, I really don't care who my real dad is. How can you still say that? I grew up reading this notebook ever since I was a little boy. It was the closest connection I've had to any sort of parents, real or not. Because it has the words of both your real father and your foster father. Right. It tells me the story of two brave men who gave their lives to fight against a giant crime syndicate. This is too sad. I feel sorry for this boy. Jeez. Ooh. Well, I guess I'll see you around. Oh, almost forgot. Hmm? <laughs> Just wanted to give you a little token of my affection. Here you go. I got a seal of the dragon. Um... <laughs> Oh, come on. Don't make me say it. Just don't be a stranger, okay? I won't. And whenever you get the chance, maybe we could sit down together sometime and you could share some stories with me about my old man. Aww. 10,000 experience. 